Hello everyone and welcome to One. As you can see, I played this game quite a bit and with the launch at the 23rd of May, I really wanted to get people a view into what the content of this game is at this point as there's a lot of content and you might see a lot of different videos. So it's a bit confusing. The Steam description is also not perfect. So let's have a look on all the single player, multiplayer, content, the mod support that the game currently has, and the deck building part of the game as well, and uh, what you can expect out of the game. And let's start in the solo uh, part, where you start with the tutorials. You have a pretty good tutorial system in this game, way better than any of the previous Eugen titles, as you have 15 tutorials focused on the basic controls of the game. Uh, even a person who hasn't played an RTS before gets explained on how to make different uh, the standard camera movement which also is a bit different in one of than some other rts and then you also learn all the weapon types and the unit types of the game as there are quite a few from main battle tanks up here down to the airplanes the helicopters um the artillery pieces you learn all of that so this is really helpful to um, get yourself familiarized with the basic concept of the game and then that is, is all about the RTS part and then for the campaigns where you have the grand strategy map that is turn-based you get a small tutorial for the basic movement and behavior of units there as well down here so it's a nice mix for to get you ready for all game modes and then the second thing in single player the re first real game mode are operations as these are Eight single player missions, um, each from going from around 20 minutes to one hour in length that they take you. And they are also split up over the six main nations, uh, East Germany and Soviet Union on the Pact side, Britain, France, West Germany and the US uh, A on the NATO side. And you play with a given deck in each of those. and. A relatively small unit size usually though the bigger ones can give you quite a couple of units as well and um, then with that given set of units you have to do a specific objective so that's why they're also pretty nice to familiarize you further with the mechanics of the game as they give you a focused set of rules and they have some cool story missions inside them as well all of them are set in to this uh, world war 3 going hot in 19 89 storyline so you have voice actors and so on in those as well and um, then the next game mode which is taking you most likely a bit longer than the operations and uh, is the main single player game mode in my eyes is army general as it has five main campaigns with the shortest taking you in the afternoon and the longest taking you dozens, if not hundreds of hours, if you play all the battles. Uh, in my first playthrough of it, I played 139 battles in it. I auto-resolved most of them, because you can also auto-resolve them. But the cool thing, obviously, is that you can fight all of them out uh, on the battlefield as well. And whenever units meet, you have the units uh, out of those fighting it on the battlefield. And you can use them. And if you lose them, you lose them on the campaign map as well. It's kind of like Total War in that regard, though you can't build new units, you get reinforcements where you sometimes have choices in which ones you get, uh, but losses are permanent, there is no repairing, there is no reinforcing of units that because of the short time scale, and they are permanent damage. It's a really cool system, um, and yeah, really good for single player and multiplayer, as they have a multiplayer feature for that, but more to that later. Skirmish then is the last game mode and uh, there you just pick uh, one of the 24 maps in different for forms there is conquest and destruction conquest being focused around capture points whilst uh, destruction um, the goal of the game is to destroy as many enemy units as possible uh, with a set goal of uh, value points that you have to destroy to win the game uh, you can choose lighting for each maps as well and um, there are a couple of other parameters and the uh, thing that you play this game mode with are the decks that you build out of the, the 18 divisions that you have in the base game or 23 
if you have the early access DLC as well as an early access owner or owner of the DLC. And those you build in the deck builder where you choose one of the 23 decks and then you put uh, units into that deck out of the roster that they have available from uh, main battle tanks over artillery pieces as they are all based around uh, real life rosters for those divisions uh, slightly adjusted sometimes with extra units uh, but uh, really cool unit models here for all of these obviously as in all the other game modes but yeah this is the real deck building part which you also will use for the multiplayer so let's get into that part as multiplayer has a good couple of game modes as well um, there are the multiplayer skirmishes uh, which you can play uh, from 10v10 where you have Eugen servers and 4v4 and 5v5s uh, where you can join U uh, servers that are hosted by Eugen either directly through the quick join button up top or by joining a server uh, that you find on the server list um, to play on them and um, you can then choose a deck and play with up to 19 other players obviously you can invite friends via the friend list as well there is then also a rank mode which is focused around 1v1 where you pick a deck and then you join the rank queue there's unfortunately no map veto or anything like that but there are ranked seasons uh, with the launch the first ranked season will start uh, with the leaderboard and Eugen also works on uh, a system to keep the top ranked players of previous seasons uh, shown some way as well and then you also can host your own servers um, both normal mode or with mods um, with, to which we will come in a second uh, via the create button here and then you also can host army general game modes uh, where, in which you can play the campaigns either as corp against the ai or versus uh, with up to four players uh, co-op up to three players on one side uh, in versus up to four players in the game mode so either 2v2 uh, 1v2 1v3 or 1v1 uh, all of that can be played with all the campaigns as they can be played from each side so this is pretty cool as well and oh yeah that is all the multiplayer a lot to play there cool tournaments being hosted for example by yours truly here and um, we have prize pool even for those and also tournaments for all skill levels uh, the first league season uh, which is coming up at the 10th of june starting uh, sign up is open for that on the website down below and yep let's get over to the modding part of the game in a second as i would split the modding part into two things first of all you have your um, gameplay mods uh, where you can for example have alterations in rate of fire or other unit stats um, and all the other things with mods that try to make the game more realistic which you then can play either in skirmish against the ai or even in multiplayer if the other sides have the mods as well for those there is a steam workshop support as well so you can um, find a lot of these mods on the steam workshop um, there are a quite a couple of cool mods if you want to alter the game to be more realistic or to be just more fun with even a nuke mod being out there already um, where you can fire nukes and it looks pretty fantastic and then the other thing the uh, is uh, a map editor both of them don't have 3d models that can't can be added yet Eugen is working on that but the uh, map editor you can use existing maps and alter them um, by taking away tree lines putting new roads on them uh, terrain can't be changed but you can change everything else roads zones of control and um, also where the towns are what kind of buildings are in the town and huge plans for m making those work in the steam workshop in the future as well for now you will have to share the file directly with somebody to play the multiplayer or you can use it uh, with the file in single player against the ai as well and um, you can edit everything there to work and they also plan to make it uh, 
editor so that you can create operations with it in the future as well. Plus that you can add 3D models to the map editor as well so that you can make your own 3D assets in there and make your own completely unique um, maps in that way. And then uh, they also want to make a campaign editor uh, that is based on the map editor as well so that you can make your own custom campaigns. So that is another thing to come together with a lot of other content. Uh, Eugen already has said they will support the game for a long while and they plan to support it similarly like Steel Division 2. So uh, we will most likely see a lot of divisions as long as that goes as planned and a lot new na a lot of new nations uh, added. They already announced that they will add uh, Poland, Czechoslovakia, the Netherlands, uh, Canada and Spain and more in upcoming DLCs over the next year and then more will come after that. So if you are interested in all of those, um, check out their store page. They already have have good amount of information there. And yeah, keep yourself updated on the game, either via your Discord or the Steam page. And yeah, I hope that gave you a good introduction into the content that Warno has to offer with the 1.0 launch. And let me know down below if you uh, gonna jump into the Army General first or if you're here for the multiplayer. And I hope to see you in the next one.